started going through your homeschool year, you've gotten about halfway through, things are going great, but there is something sticking in your mind that you're like, this is just not going that great. For me, it happened this year. That was our math curriculum. So I decided to change our math curriculum. So I wanted to tell you all about why we did that and what we switched to and why we are doing so much better with math in our homeschool since the switch. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Peggy. This is my channel at the Starlings and my blog is at thestarlings.com. I make videos about homemaking, homeschooling, and family discipleship. What was going on with us with math? So at the beginning of our school year, which we started at the end of June, I really went all in on a lot of Simply Charlotte Mason curricula and the majority of it has been wonderful. But I went ahead and purchased their math curriculum, which is the Charlotte Mason Elementary Arithmetic Series. That's what it looks like. And then you also purchase this math notebook to go with it. Honestly, I just didn't really know how math was going to go. Um, so I have a first grader and then I have a preschooler who's doing kindergarten work just because she wants to. So I'm mostly looking at this from that first grade and kindergarten perspective. This is our second year homeschooling. I purchased this elementary arithmetic series. It's very much kind of like one room schoolhouse type of thing. You use a slate, which we just used a little dry erase board with dry erase markers and eraser. You use your own manipulatives that you might have around your house. Like we used pipe cleaners a lot. You can use beans and we used coins, different things. So it you know, there are manipulatives that you use. We just were trudging through this and it just started to become kind of mundane and it, it just seemed like the same thing over and over, but not the same concept, if that makes sense. Like it would just be one number and then lots of different word problem type questions. And then the next week it would be the next number and or the next day or however often we would do it. So we kind of stopped doing it because it was just getting to where my daughter wasn't really wanting to do it. I wasn't really wanting to do it. There's not a whole lot of teacher help in this. So it gives you all the answers and all of that. But when it comes to you know, subtracting and things like that. There wasn't a lot of guidance on how to teach that. There wasn't really much emphasis on like place value or things like that. And I mean, I'm sure it would probably get to that at some point, but it just wasn't getting to that. And my daughter was having trouble with like the teens and, you know, remembering what those looked like, 20s, 30s, 40s, all of that she's good, but the teens, she had a harder time remembering the names of those numbers. So it just became just kind of di difficult and uh, some drudgery for us getting through this. That's not to say that it would be the same for your family. I, it just really wasn't right for us right now. When I started thinking about what do I want out of a math curriculum, I was thinking I really want my daughter to have a good foundation for math. I want her to really understand place value, understand how numbers work, you know, how we use numbers in everyday life, which this definitely has that aspect of using it in everyday life. But I really wanted her to just have a really good, solid foundation on math concepts because so much is gonna build upon everything else. And also in, in the Charlotte Mason method, there's not tons of memory work. That's definitely more of a classical type of style, homeschool style. So I really wanted to find something that would have more memory work for math because I was thinking, you know, it is really important to quickly know that um, four plus three is seven, things like that. And that this doesn't really uh, emphasize the importance of knowing and learning math facts. I understand that um, it's not very 
Charlotte Mason to want to go that direction. So, but that's okay. So when I started doing research on different math curricula, I was learning about the difference between a spiral method and a mastery method. So the spiral is where they learn a lot of different concepts and they come back around to them. And you know, it's like little bits every time of different things. And then it comes back around and they get a little bit more each time of different things. So they might start with counting and then they might go to adding, they might go to money, they might go to time, geometry, and then come back around and get a little bit more of each of those concepts. So that's more of a spiral method. And I think that is really what this um, was doing because you do get some time, some money, things like that, but you never master it. You never get the full age appropriately. This is all that you need to grasp about this concept. There was a lot of kind of bouncing around some with this. So then the mastery type of style is where they stick to one concept until they have mastered it. And once they have shown that they've mastered it, then you move on to the next concept and then they master that. And I just felt like that was what was missing and what we needed. Um, I wanted to see her grasp a concept, understand it, and then be ready to move forward so that these things can build upon one another. So what I ended up going with is Matthew C. So Matthew C is definitely more in the classical style of homeschooling, but I am absolutely loving it. And I'm totally fine with it not being very Charlotte Mason-y. Um, that's fine with me. I have been so happy with this program and so excited to take my daughter through this. First of all, it is a mastery program and this is an older program. It's been around for a long time and so it's been proven to work. I really liked um, learning about that, that you know, there have been kids that have gone through this program from beginning of their homeschool to the end and that have even gone on to graduate with math degrees in college. So when I learned all of that about the program, I was like, okay, I think, you know, I feel confident with this program. I think this is going to be great. Then I learned also um, that there's a huge place value emphasis. And I think a lot of doing mental math and also just really practical math has a lot to do with place value. So I think there needs to be more of an emphasis on that. And this program does have that. For instance, the counting line that they use starts with zero. You don't count one through 10, you count zero through nine, and then 10 through 19. That way, so that there's more of a place value emphasis. So I really liked that. There is still lots of manipulatives that happen with this program. So that was one thing I really liked about the Simply Charlotte Mason elementary arithmetic was um, the, using the manipulatives because my daughter really likes hands-on type things. I really wanted to find something that still had that. Matthew C does have that. So I was gonna show you. We started her with the alpha and they have some different ways that you can find out what level your child should be at. So when I looked through all of that, I determined that she would be at the alpha level for my first grader. There is a lower level that is called primer. And I have my kindergarten daughter doing that because she really wanted to do math also with her sister. So she's doing that, that's their lower level. And then the first grade-ish level is the alpha. So that's what we have been doing. So the manipulatives that you use in Matthew C is this big block kit. So it tells you on the back here, there's a princess band-aid stuck to that. That's lovely. Okay. So there's all these blocks in here and that's what you're using for your manipulatives. And they kind of hook together like Legos. So I'll show you there's a hundred block. And that's what this is. There's a tens block 
And there's a ones block. And these are kind of the first ones that they start to use. And then the numbers in between two through nine, there's blocks for each of those two. So here's the two, three. So then part of the program is using these blocks to see that three plus two is the same, is the same as five. So when they take the five block and they put the three on and the two on, they see that it's the same, it's the same size. So when they look at it, it's easier to see that this is five. It's the same as this. I just feel like this is really giving her much more solid foundation. She's understanding numbers much better. She's understanding how numbers work. She's understanding place value and all of that. So it's been awesome. So I was gonna show you what it comes with. It comes with the block kit. These are the student um, worksheets, the workbook. There are seven worksheets each week with each lesson. So you do one lesson a week in general and you do one worksheet, one or two, however many you wanna do each day. So you can see this is lesson seven. This is worksheet A. It goes A through G and it's front and back. So the first uh, three pages are lesson, lesson practice pages. So the first three worksheet pages go along with the lesson that you learned. So if they learn the lesson and they've got it with like the first worksheet, don't need any help or doing really well, you don't necessarily have to do the other lesson worksheets. So seven worksheets sounds like a lot, but you can skip some of the you know worksheet pages um, if you determine that your child already knows the concept and is doing well with that. So you can do that. But then the D through G pages are systematic review. So these are the review worksheet pages. So just because this is a mastery program doesn't mean that there's never, you know, coming back to concepts they've learned before. There is review all throughout the program. So I know some people have been like nervous about that or critical about that with this program. But as long as you understand how the worksheets work, then you will see that there is review and that you do um, review the concepts over. So it's not like you're only sticking to one thing and you're never looking at anything else. Um, so those are the review pages. And then the last one, which is the G each time, is a worksheet that's called application and enrichment and it has like a little there might be a coloring thing like this where whatever the answer is that's what they color each thing so for this if the answer is five you color that space red and so these equations the answer was five so she colored that red so they have you know some coloring things like that or there will be more of the um, word problem type problems like here. In this one, it was you picked um, a name and you could fill in what name you wanted to use um, for the word problem. So that was fun to her. But then we read the word problem together and she answered that. So it still is very practical, um, you know, has all the word problems and um, just using the practical math skills, which was similar to the more Charlotte Mason style of math. So you do get that with this as well. So I really liked that. I thought this was um, just such a great program. Um, you also get the videos. Each video um, are the lessons. So Steve Demi, who is the one who created this program, is the one teaching the lessons. So you pop this in your um, DVD or Blu-ray player and you watch the lesson. They're very, very short. I will pause it sometimes when he asks the kids that he's teaching in the video a question. I'll pause it and let my daughter answer the question and we'll keep going. So we watch that together and then she completes her worksheets. It's very simple. He really does a great job with teaching that. I don't feel bad that I'm not the one teaching the specific lesson because there, there have been times when 
she's just needed a little extra help with understanding something. And so that's where I come in and help her and help her understand the concept. There's also a teacher book that you can get that I have that also gives you a lot of helpful instruction on how to teach the different concepts. So I felt like that was really helpful. It was great that it was included in everything. And then the last thing is the test booklet. So taking a formal tests like this is not very Charlotte Mason as well. I am totally fine with this. My daughter has not felt pressure or anxiety over taking the tests. Um, she really enjoys them. Whenever I give her a test, you know, I've explained to her like, I don't help you with the test. You do the worksheet yourself and then I'm gonna grade it. And I, you know, I explained to her what a grading scale is. And if she gets an A on the test, then she gets to pick a sticker that she puts on the page. So um, she's done really well. She loves picking out the stickers. When I tell her that, you know, you have a math test tomorrow, she's never worried about it. She likes doing it. And she also knows that means that she's done with math for the week when she gets to test day. So that's been really good. So no problem there. Um, and the same thing with the primer. Um, it's the same with the worksheets, you know, they're much simpler than the alpha. Um, and then I also got the DVD for that so that younger sister um, also has all of her math that she likes to do. Now, you could use the primer for kindergarten or for first grade, um, but it is very, very basic. So I'd say it is more kindergarten, like really starting out with math, very much an introduction to math with the primer. The alpha focuses on single digit addition and subtraction. That's not to say there aren't other um, concepts in there because like I said, you do you know, get to other concepts, but it's really mastering the single digit addition and subtraction. So that's the alpha. The beta, which is the next part of the program, will get to the double digit stuff. That's kind of Matthew C. The watching the videos, doing worksheets and taking tests is a huge difference um, of this from what I originally planned, which was the Simply Charlotte Mason. I definitely lean more Charlotte Mason in my style of homeschooling. So once I, we got into this program and I've seen how great um, Matthew C is working, you know, I've determined like, it's okay to be a little more eclectic. It's okay to pull in um, some classical type homeschooling whenever I think, you know, that would work best for our family. So we've got some classical aspects, some Charlotte Mason, and I think that's okay. And it's okay to, you know, be a mixture of different styles of homeschool. So I think that's a really valuable lesson that I've learned this year in my second year of homeschooling. That's what's going on with math for us. Um, we love Matthew C. I'm excited to go ahead and purchase the next level for next year. Um, we're gonna do that. We're gonna stick with this. As long as it's working and it's going well, this is what we're gonna stick with. So I'm excited to have learned something, to have learned that, you know, it's okay to adjust and move, even if it's halfway through the year, even if, you know, we've spent money on something, it's okay to change. It's okay to make a change. And especially when it's something that is a positive change that's helping my child learn better, um, I'm happy to make those changes. I'm looking forward to continuing with Matthew C for the foreseeable future. So thanks for joining me today. I hope this was helpful for you, especially if you're looking around at math curricula. There's so many out there. This is what I went with. I did tons of research and this is where I settled. This is what I am really happy with for my family. So I hope this helps you in your curriculum search and I will see you next time.